For many people, the start of a new year is a great time to evaluate what they want to accomplish in the next 365 days. But many resolutions fail actually about 46% in the first month alone, according to Forbes. Our Astra Martinez spoke to an author on how embodying the mantra, less is more, is the most powerful way to boost your well-being in 2023. Not enough time, not enough energy. There are many reasons why New Year's resolutions fail, especially when we are adding another obligation to our already full plates. That's why we need to climb down the ladder. It's so much pressure on ourselves. Mm -hmm. If there's behaviors we want to change, I suggest very small steps, but also I suggest a lot of acceptance. Retired attorney and CEO Laura Black is the author of Climbing Down the Ladder. Laura co-founded one of the first temporary legal staffing companies in the U.S. She eventually became the company's CEO. Her climb up the ladder as a mother of three forced her to make often painful choices as she navigated the myth of having it all. She is now sharing how a year of no ambitions can bring significant significant success. I feel like in the last three years, a lot of people that I've spoken with, whether it's friends or colleagues, they feel overwhelmed and burned out. But social media also creates this narrative that you have to stay productive and competing. So some people, um, even if they're retired or not retired, um, maybe they still want to feel like they're contributing in some way. So how can we balance those two ideas, right? How can we still be productive but not feel so burnt out and overwhelmed? It's such, such an interesting concept. And there's a difference between productivity and purpose. Mm -hmm. We all need purpose. We need a reason to get up in the morning. Um, but do we have to keep producing? And one of the ways is to redefine what does productivity mean? Laura says climbing down the ladder is not about having no ambitions. It's about helping women find contentment and purpose without an all-encompassing level of productivity and achievement they so often are accustomed to. I used to do a lot of speaking on how to make it to the top and how to bring in business. Now I want to say, please develop friendships, develop interests. Be mindful. You know, I wish I could call my grandparents more. There's so much in life. And, uh, and maybe because as women, we used to have to feel we had to prove ourselves and work twice or three times as hard. We just let everything else go to the side because we are so driven. And we miss a lot. And it's time to get some of that back. And in doing so, uncover a richer, different kind of happiness. Astrid Martinez, Philly Live.